Happy New Year. My name is Kaylin, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I personally tend to get overwhelmed by big resolutions and never really stick with them because I just find that it's not that practical to just expect a huge life change to happen. So this video is for those of you out there like me who want to continue to grow and to have a better 2017 but don't really want to just set some lofty goals that feel like you're just setting yourself up for failure. So today I'm going to share with you some incredibly easy things that are going to yield a huge result. These aren't big resolutions, they're just super simple things you can do and change in your everyday life. Remember you are the only one in control of your life and you are the one who's going to have to put in the effort to change your life and to have a better new year and to continue to grow. But these tips are really just going to ease you into that and ease you into the person that you want to be. So keep on watching because I believe in you and I believe that you're going to have an amazing 2017. Today's video is a collaboration with Kylie Rain. Kylie is another YouTuber who is absolutely sweet. She makes a lot of DIY sort of motivational videos and in her video today she's going to share with you some DIYs that are going to make sure that you have an amazing 2017. So make sure to check out her channel and subscribe to her. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys stick around and enjoy what I have to share with you today and subscribe so I can see you in my future videos. All right, so without further ado, let me share with you these simple things that you can do to continue to grow into the person that you wanna be and just have an amazing 2017. first thing that I want you to do is to decide that you are worth it. You are worth sitting down and thinking about your life, thinking about where you want to be. You are worth not being a zombie and just coasting through life. You have so many dreams and ideas inside of you. Maybe you're aware of it, maybe you're not, but they're there for a reason and you are worth the time and energy it will take to discover these and to help bring them to life in your life because that's why you're here after all and what's inside of you is special. When you don't pursue what's inside of you, you're not only letting down yourself, but you're robbing the world of what you have to offer. You're robbing the world of the ideas that you have, the talents that you have, the passion that you have. And all those things are in you for a reason and it would be such a shame if you lived your life and never were able to express those things because of fear and self-doubt. So spend whatever energy that you need to spend in convincing yourself that you are actually worth it. You are worth a beautiful 2017. You are worth the growth and the change that you long for. What makes you happy? Think about the things that actually make you happy. It's so easy to just coast through life and never really think about these things, but once you just take a moment and identify five simple things that make you happy and that make your days good, then you can intentionally make more time for those things. And I think we all know things that make our days bad, whether it's spilling coffee or traffic, the things that just seem to always bring us down. But what makes your days good? What are the things that bring you joy? So take a moment and think about that because if you never think about what actually makes you happy, how are you actually gonna have better days? Figure out how you can make more time and more room for them and start to do that so you can incorporate more of the things that you already love and enjoy. your gratitude. Gratitude seems to be a huge topic these days and it's so important and it's so powerful. By all means you don't have to be extreme in practicing gratitude. You definitely can and props to you if you do, but just try and take a little bit of time to just feel grateful for the things that you have in your life and recognize what makes you happy and what you're so glad is part of your life. From the most basic things like running water and food to certain aspects of your day, certain things you see throughout your day, just take some seconds and just feel those feelings. It's so easy to just rush past those feelings in our lives and not actually take the time to feel them, but slow down and feel those feelings of gratitude. It actually feels really good to be grateful. And simply putting energy into being grateful will change your whole experience of life because life after all, it's all about your perspective. And if you're focused on what you already have more, you're just gonna be happier. To be grateful, you don't have to change anything in your life. You don't have to do something that's really hard work, like working out every single day. People who are grateful actually report better physical health and the feelings of gratitude actually increase your happiness and reduce depression. So make space to feel those feelings of gratitude and recognize what you already have, what you've already accomplished in 2016, who you already are today and the things that you love about yourself and your life. Reshape your consumerist mindset. 
in our world, we are told the message everywhere, absolutely wherever we go, that we need things to make us happy. And that's how people make money. That's how big companies sell their products to us by convincing us that by purchasing things, we will have something that we don't already have, that we will have happiness, that we will have a beautiful relationship, that we need material possessions or to improve ourselves in certain ways or to be thin, to be happy. But all of that's a complete lie. In fact, the opposite is true. The more we chase after those things, the more discontent we are. There's actually a study that shows that consumerism is the biggest oppressant of happiness across the world. And which is so crazy because that's the exact opposite of what we're taught to believe. So I challenge you and myself to be more aware of the times we feel pressured to consume or that we seek to consume things to validate ourselves. Those things aren't going to make you happy. Losing weight is not going to make you happy. Buying a new purse is not going to make you happy. Making more money is not going to make you happy. Being in a bigger house is not going to make you happy. So why don't you just let go of some of the things that you feel like you need this year and just see what you have and realize that buying stuff is actually suppressing your happiness. Studies show that. So a quick tip for you that's helped me that I discovered, when I feel the need to consume something to validate myself, whether it's shopping or, I don't know, consuming social media, whatever it is, I, I focus on caring for what I already have and creating. So whether it's organizing something in my house or painting or making a video, Create. You have so much in you to give. Focus on what you already have, taking care of it and creating as opposed to consuming. And you're seriously going to be so much happier this coming year. Social media cleanup. Oh my gosh, we all have people that, or I do, that we see on social media that you think is inspiring and maybe they start off being inspiring, but sometimes there becomes a point where you just feel discouraged or you just feel not good enough or you feel like you need the house they live in or you need the body they have. Or if you've been decluttering, that's great, but what about your social media? What about decluttering the people that you followed because for whatever reason you wanted to, but they are actually not adding value to your life. If certain people on social media cause you any negative feelings at all, even in the slightest, just delete them, just unfollow them. It's really not worth it. You're not gonna miss out on anything. So many of us spend a lot of time on social media. You do not wanna be feeding yourself with things and with posts and with people that just make you feel not good enough. Like, So clean it up, get rid of those people, and simplify what you're looking at online when you are on social media. a social media cleanse did this the other day I deleted the apps off my phone and I was so much happier guys I got so much more done around my house I was so much more present and it was so life-giving and I know social media is such an easy escape for many of us from the stress or busyness of our days it, br it brings us some sort of satisfaction just scrolling through whatever it is it's hard to understand but you probably know what I'm talking about just unplug and give yourself a break even half of a day or a full day or a full week give yourself a break from comparing yourself to other people and focus on your own life. I feel like Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat, it's almost like snacking. It satisfies you in the moment, but afterwards you don't feel good and it doesn't bring you life and it doesn't bring you closer to your goals. If you're feeling anxious or upset or just negative feelings, take a break from social media. It will do you so, so good. Don't be afraid of change. Change has to happen for us to make progress in life and to grow, and it's gonna get a little uncomfortable. Being a human, we are actually creatures of habit, just in our physical bodies, in the way our brain actually makes patterns that we repeat. So it is hard to change, it does take effort. So just take baby steps up the mountains that you wanna climb in life. Don't feel like you need to race up them. You're gonna get so exhausted and burnt out and just totally give up. So just take baby steps, have some snacks along the way, don't stress out about it. Don't discount the small steps that you take in the right direction because they are truly everything. Those small steps are gonna get you to the most amazing places in life and take you to all the places that you wanna be. Don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid to get a little bit uncomfortable and take a chance. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was encouraging to you. I hope you found something in here useful. Remember, you are in control of your life. You are the only one who can make a change for yourself. Your life is not gonna just get better magically. You're not just automatically gonna have a better 2017 if you don't make the effort. 
And also remember that it's not all the things you're doing and producing, it's actually just your mindset that will change your happiness, that will change how you experience life and how much you enjoy in your year. And recognize that that actually shapes your whole experience of life and just adjusting what's in your head is going to make all the difference. Give this a thumbs up if you're like me and don't like big resolutions and found something in here that you can kind of hold on to and take with you into this next year. Again, don't forget to check out Kylie's video. I will link it down below. And I hope you subscribe to her channel and follow along with her. Thank you guys so much for coming. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna stick around for my future content. I am so enjoying being here. I would absolutely love to have you here and love to continue to connect with you. If you have a YouTube channel too, let me know so I can go check you out. I'm so excited to continue to encourage you and hopefully make a positive difference in your life because I just have such a deep love for people and you people out there. So I really hope that you feel in my videos and you know that all these tips are coming from a place of love and wanting to help you guys happy new year and i will see you guys soon bye Look at her